Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I really do. I wanted to get on here today and it's just been one of those days where everything was darn busy. I couldn't. So I'm going to get on here right now before I call it a night and share with you some of the things that I think are kind of interesting. For one, I've been talking to a lot of people and some of them on the phone and some not. Some of them through YouTube and everybody seems so tired. Have you guys noticed that where everybody's just exhausted? I mean, even the count of, of uh, YouTubers in our community is going down. We're not getting as much action. It's probably the weather though, don't you think? Yeah. Or could it be that they're just draining us? I mean, all of this hype and all this excitement. I was Comet, Comet Ison, you know. Everybody was sitting on pins and needles and watching and grouping together to watch it as it made its, its uh, curve around the sun. What do they call that? Perihelium or something. So everybody was just all up about that and then it, there's always something, I mean, constantly, and the bickering, a lot of bickering going on. You know, one guy says up, the other guy says down, and, and some gal says, oh, it's this way, and the other one says, no, it's this way. And sometimes they can't see that if they would take the up and take the down and bring them together, right there, you know, you might have where it needs to be, you know, putting it together. Yeah. But it's, it's, I think, a lot of that tension and the stress and the problems. We're faced with some really critical things. I mean, I just noticed that Conspiracy Detective put out a video back on the 4th that uh, you guys, I mean, this is really important. You know those little blue pills that, you know what I'm talking about. Well, those are probably going to be history. Yeah, because uh, they're coming out with sex robots. Yeah. Yeah. So much for the blue pills, huh? I'll put the link down below if you're at all curious about it. Yeah. To replace humans, by the way. That's what it says. So, uh, hmm. Supposed to be the ideal lovers. That's what the experts say. I didn't say it. Experts said it. Yep. Then, no, uh, Corinthian Bosky put out a video and has you go to Google Earth and you click on Google Earth and then you go to Google Sky and you put in the coordinates that he gives you he or she I'm not sure if it's a he or she but they give you the coordinates I think it's a he and uh, no offense uh, Corinthian no offense I I tend to forget names and whether it's he or she, you know, pictures don't always tell the truth. But anyway, uh, you punch in the coordinates and Google Earth, or pardon me, Google Sky takes you straight to Nibiru. Wings and everything. Yeah, that's exciting, huh? So uh, might be something you want to look at. That'll be down in the show more. And the coordinates are there too. So you can go open up Google Earth. It even gives you the link for the Google Earth download if you don't have it already. And uh, tells you in the video exactly how to get to it. I did it. I went to it. Sure enough. Just drove me right to it. Already had a poke pin in it. Yeah. So Nibiru, Planet X, 
found on Google Sky. That was exciting. Yep, sure enough. Then did you guys see where... Uh, I know it's going to upset a lot of people. It really is. I mean, we were just getting into this global warming. A lot of people spent a lot of money on books and going green and uh, carbon taxes and all these cutbacks and changes of our lifestyle and we were bad people and especially those people trying to keep warm with carbon fuels or driving around with them and it's supposed to be global warming. But Antarctica just hit ridiculously low record cold temperatures. For all of you that didn't see it, I mean, this this is cold. You think it's cold where you're at. I mean, it's cold here. I'm freezing right now. My hands are like ice. But uh, 130 or minus 135.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 135. 0.8 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So zero and then down 135.8 degrees. Yeah. That's so cold, the scientists say, that it would even hurt to breathe. Can you imagine? Well, I remember when I was in uh, minus 90 with the uh, wind chill factor and nobody could go out. That was just a wind chill factor, an Arctic, Arctic storm, and it was horrible, horribly cold. You couldn't get warm, blowing right through the, the walls in your home. I had to put blankets up around and everything. It was quite, quite an experience. They said that if you went outside, it would freeze your skin and it it was bad, but at minus 135.8, it broke all the records. I guess the old record was minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So, don't know what that does for the global warming. You know, it kind of steams things up, doesn't it? Kind of a ripoff. Personally, I'd like to have my money back for the uh, thieving scam. I mean, we're breaking cold records all over the place. I wonder what color they're going to pick now instead of green. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, because I really think it's of great importance, and I really sincerely do, guys. Uh, on my Google+, Plus on my channel actually I put a copy of a video out that uh, is pretty alarming it covers um, oh I can't think of uh, the justice's name now I have to look real quick but I'm going to put a link down below, and guys, everybody, everybody needs to watch this video. It pertains to Obamacare, and that's been a real, real big thing with all of us. It's a, a warning to us. Many of you have probably already heard about Chief Justice Roberts and his... Uh, getting the case in front of him about Obamacare and he warns the people that only the people can put a constitutional stop to the government's legal use of secret presumption of corporate status against human beings. Chief Justice goes on to warn the American people of what is being done to them, how it's being done, and the imminent danger of its expansion use. 
Now this video is extremely important. It was shared with us by uh, CT Watcher and she got it from uh, DJ Songbird 1. Now DJ Songbird 1 puts out these videos and they are phenomenal. They're always accurate. Not once have I seen one that was wrong. And uh, guys, this is something that we all, every one of us, each and every one of us, we need to listen to this video. It is 55 minutes and 46 seconds long. That's a long time to spend on a video. But I'll tell you right now, if you care about your life and your well-being, and the well-being of your children and this country, your grandchildren, great-grandchildren. You need to spend 56 minutes on this video. And if you don't catch everything the first time, you best listen to it again. If you're even thinking about signing up for Bubama Care, don't do it absolutely do not do it because friends when you sign up you're taking on and agreeing to a contract that makes you corporation and uh, they've done a real heavy play on words this is put out very clear she explains the entire thing to you you know it's uh, it's pathetic, guys. It really sincerely is. And most of us, average human beings, we wouldn't know what this means and the play on words. But the justice did. He certainly did. He knows exactly. I mean, that's his job. He knows how to read these laws. He knows the, as he put it, um, oh, how was it he put it? The secret presumption of corporation status and how they use words to make that happen. So take the time to watch this video. The title of it is Traitor or Patriot. And... Uh, I can't stress enough. Not only should you watch it, but share it with everybody you know. If there was ever a video that needed to go viral and needed to go viral fast, this is the video. It certainly is. So I just wanted to share this, guys, and... Uh, Got to cut back on the stress, guys. This YouTube community of ours shouldn't be a stressful place. For you people that are just running around scaring people, shame on you. Shame, shame on you. We've got a lot of people that are lying, out and out lying. They are very deceptive. And they're putting on to be people that they're not. They are... Uh, copycatting, they're, you know, gathering up information and, and photoshopping and just being mean. They're making up these stories that just are not true. And it frightens a lot of people. It makes people very concerned. We got enough real stuff going on, guys. We certainly do that we don't need any made up stories. You know, if you're not worried about this Bubamacare, and that's what I call it, Bubamacare, Bubamacare, if you're not worried about this, then you better just park your rear and worry about Fukushima. Because uh, this just ain't looking real good. We need to come up with solutions. And it begins 
with not subjecting ourselves to uh, crimes forced on us by a really rogue government. We have co Congress and uh, the Senate that just aren't doing their jobs. So it's up to us. Anyway, I'll put all the links down below in the show more. Hey guys, you guys are awesome. You really are. Except for you back there that are uh, just not being nice. Trying to fool people. Making up stuff. And tubers for you guys that are calling each other names and fighting. Knock it off. Knock it off. None of us enjoy that. None of us. Let's just get down to business. Let's take care of the stuff we need to take care of. Begins with a video down below. Great big hugs. whole bunch of love. Share it with your friends, your family. Let's get this going. Has answers for us. And there's lawyers and people out here that will know how we can approach this. So let's have a look. Great big hugs, guys. And I'll catch you guys later.